Hi guys, it's Weedit, and as promised, I am back with more ways, or another way, to make custom binder clips. This is all part of my um, planner love. Okay, I'm trying to get them so that they will focus. And there we go, focus there. Okay, and you can see. So it is, um, this is another way to customize your binder clips for your planners. And um, for uh, two of these, and I'm not sure which two, I used white nail polish, which was fine. Um, and these are not quite completely dry from the third coat yet, which is why they're just a little bit tacky on my mat. But um, I used white nail polish, and I really, it was fine. My nail polish wasn't fine. Um, it worked well, but the nail polish, my nail polish is old and it was too thick. What I really liked was uh, Martha Stewart, her multi-surface. This is the satin finish, and it's summer linen. So it's a nice pale color, but it's not a stark white color. Um, and this is designed, it says, use on wood, glass, metal, and fabric. Okay, indoor and outdoor, water-based, non-toxic, weather-resistant, blah, blah, blah. So I, I really do like her craft paints because they are multi-surface. Um, so I... Honestly, I, I kind of recommend this, but if you've got white nail polish, then white nail polish works too. Um, again, I can't really tell the difference. I think this one must have been white. Maybe this one was... I don't know. I can't tell. And um, this this is the, the Martha Stewart, what it looks like. And I think I put two coats on. You just want to... Um, get a good coverage on it so that your the details on your washi tape show through because that's what I used um, and it doesn't show through with you know on the black so well so you lighten it up and it does quite well you want to make sure that the washi tape that you select fits okay um, because not all of them do. Some of them are, you know, the washi tape is all different widths and everything. So I'm going to use, I, I could have used either one, but I think I'm going to use this one. And yeah, I think I'm going to use this one. Or maybe I'm not going to use this one. Dragging my nail light. There we go. Okay. Now, if you want to, because some washi tape is not real sticky, if you just want to put a little bit of sticky down, and then I pull out extra, and kind of stretching it a little bit, and I place it down. Okay, now, whoa, attack of the bugs, attack of the bugs, um, I've got the door open, so yeah, bugs, I'm not sure, that didn't look quite even to me, so I'm going to put that back on, there. Okay. okay. Now, what I found that works really well, because the biggest problem we have is um, the edges. And you want to, I'm sorry, the edges. And you want to cut it off flush 
and then make sure you go over it a lot with um, man my brain is not working with nail polish the other thing that we could do is take this and fold it inside like that so I'll show you you, know, you fold it inside like this and then you will have to put some nail polish to seal that seam on the inside there okay so you can do that um, that's one way but the other way and I'll show you on this side of the clip and now I forgot which way I had my flowers going I'm not sure it really matters truthfully but I would like to be somewhat consistent and I'm going to put a little stick them down okay. or I'm not going to put a little stick them down there we go nope there we go it's got a little stick them emphasis on little Okay, stretching the washi tape, just fitting it on there, and then rubbing it down good. Okay, then if you want to cut it off, if you don't want it wrapped all the way around on the inside, the best way I found to do that was to, let's see if I can get this, hold it. Like, I don't know if you can see how I'm holding it. I'm pulling on the washi tape on the edge. And getting my craft knife. And you really want to cut it off right on top. So I'm cutting at an angle. And I'm going to cut. And I'm sawing and pulling so that it is as flush as possible. Now, up here, um, there's a little thing. We don't want that. So I need to go in and just kind of cut that off. Okay, that's what we do not want. And that was the easiest way to get it um, nice and flush on the edges without having any scraggles or overhang. And I'll do that again over here on this side. And it's sort of hard to see, so I hope you can. I'm pulling on that washi tape with one hand. And again, if you can see the angle of my knife, it's not up. It's, it's going across. And I'm almost just sort of sawing that. Okay. And I've got a little... There we go. And now we do the same thing on the bottom. Line it up. Burnish it down. I think I'll just go ahead and fold that in since I will be doing yes. Pancakes, biscuits. Okay. Mm -hmm. Either any. Okay. Thank you. Um so since I folded it in, I burnished it down really well. And again, I'll have to go over that with nail polish. And we really don't care what the inside looks like because people aren't going around looking at the inside of your binder clips. Um, but once you have done that, um, and, and don't do that too much because you can see, since I haven't protected it, my washi tape sort of... It, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yeah, there's a little spot right there. And that's where I had the clip. And it's on the other side, too. And that's because this paint is fairly fresh. 
and because I didn't protect the washi tape before I started messing with it. So to protect the washi tape, I go back to my handy dandy clear nail polish and I go with three coats and that, that gives it that nice shiny um, look and also very, very good protection. And you really want to go over the yet well, sorry, you really want to go over the edges really, really well. Um, I go over this part three times. I probably go over the edges five, okay? And this was the first one I did, so it to me is a little rougher. The edges are a little rougher than the others. Uh, I sort of had it figured out. But these make, oh my gosh, using your washi tape, these just, they make beautiful binder clips. So, I go in and very liberally, and I do mean very liberally, I put far more on here than I would if I were actually like doing my nails. It is um, glopped. See if you can see that shiny. Yeah, that's how much I put on already. So, I'm gonna flip it over, do it on the other side. I'll tilt the bottle to get to get good gloppy. That was my husband. Apparently he has come back from hunting and since I am filming and he knows I'm uploading, he is cooking dinner. Sweet man. So... I liked the nail polish binder clips, but I started thinking about how am I going to decorate my planner um, when I'm, I've got this modeled binder clip. How am I going to decorate it to, to go with it? And notice I'm getting the corners. Okay. Okay. Wow. Speaking skills going right down the tube. And I look at this and I'm looking for areas that just don't have a good heavy coverage. Even though this is the first coat and there'll be three more. Okay, now I've coated all the flat surfaces and what I need to now get are the edges. I really think that maybe folding the washi tape in might be a great way to go. But you just, you go around the edges like that any number of times. And then once it's dry, okay, once I've got three coats on this and it's dry, then I would flip it open and put some nail polish on the inside. I wouldn't worry too much. You don't have to put three coats on the inside. Um, you're just wanting to make sure that the tape stays stuck down so it doesn't need that much. But that's all it takes to make these beautiful... I mean, designer, designer um, binder clips. And again, I tend to dry them by putting, and I've, this is a little project box. Actually, it's for my giant life. I need to decorate it, but 
I dried the binder clips by just sticking them here and it it works very well just to put them like that and and there I have beautiful designer binder clips bye